Weather Lab. KMAC meteorologist Shelby Mack. It's hump day and clouds are making their way into the forecast, which is going to lead to it being a little bit gloomy outside, but it's also going to bring in that small potential for some rain, which is exactly what we need. But I don't want to get your hopes up too high because it's not looking like we're going to have a lot of rain coming through, if any at all. Now these clouds are going to continue to slide in as we go throughout the rest of the morning, bringing in that moisture to the upper atmosphere. But the reason I'm thinking there may not be that potential for rain is because we are so dry at the surface due to a southern breeze pushing in that air that is a lot drier than what we're seeing with the clouds. But looking over Slayton right now, not too much going on. Those clouds aren't there just yet, but they are going to continue to slide in as we go throughout the rest of our morning. And our temperature is pretty mild out there, close to 56 degrees in Lubbock, 55 in Anton and Loveland, 61 in Brownfield and La Mesa. And these temperatures are going to continue to rise through the rest of the day along with our dew points. So as these dew points go up, that's when we're going to start to see a little bit of condensation on the car as you're headed out the door this morning and maybe some dew in the grass, along with that chance for some showers popping up through our afternoon and tonight. But our temperatures are actually going to be warmer in the lower 80s compared to yesterday when we were in the lower 70s. So don't let the clouds fool you because we are still going to be seeing that warm up because of this southerly breeze that's going to continue to push in at about 10 to 20 miles per hour throughout the rest of the day. So when are we going to be seeing that rain, Shelby? Well, it's looking like we could start to see maybe one or two splash and dash showers trying to come together in our southwestern counties by this afternoon once you're picking the kids up from school. Then we're going to start to see maybe one or two thunderstorms trying to come together by tonight at 830 closer to Tatum and making its way into Texas as we go throughout the rest of our evening. 930 rolls around and that's when we'll start to see a few showers coming in to level land. Again, these might not though form because that sun's going to go down and we're not going to be as unstable as our temperatures drop. But hey, there is still the potential, so we're looking forward to it and we're going to say a quick prayer that we do start to see a little bit of the rain coming through, but we're actually not going to be seeing too much chance for rain in the morning. This is really only going to be a night event when we could see a few thunderstorms across the South Plains with that marginal risk for some severe weather happening in our northwestern counties, and that's just because you're going to be seeing those dew points getting a little bit higher, so you could see a few more showers popping up, but by tomorrow that heat picks up, those clouds move in, and winds pick up as well as we make it into the lower 90s, Laura.